everybody. This is the uh, Rockport Select Board meeting, Monday, June 10th at 7 o'clock in the evening. We're here in the uh, Jeffrey Parker room of the Rockport Opera House. Uh, the first thing on our agenda this evening, we have several sets of minutes to approve. Uh, starting with the minutes for the April 30th executive session of the Select Board. Except as... I have a motion from Mark to accept as presented. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion on these minutes? If not, all in favor? Any opposed? Okay. Uh, the next set is the Wednesday, May 1st uh, meeting of the Select Board. Uh, I have a motion on that one. I, I've got a concern. I may have been misquoted here on page three or four around motions with Agreement with FI to do stream work and intersection work, targeted amount being 225. That sounds a bit off. I think it was 220. That is the number, isn't it, that we've always discussed that yeah. the intersection is 220. Yeah. I think it was uh, page. He, It's page three, four, first full paragraph. Oh, I see, yeah. It's always been 220, right? It's never oh, been 225. 220. It is 225? Yeah. When did it go up to 225? It used to be 220. For the intersection, two hundred twenty thousand, and Megan is shaking her or nodding her head. Oh, yes, okay. it's never been two twenty thousand that I knew. But uh, okay, I would, right. no I extra money. Like there. to see that changed. I don't know if you want to do that in the motion or do it now. If it's a correction to the minutes, then we'll, you know, we can change it, and then we'll take the motion to um, <coughs> right. accept the minutes as corrected. Any further corrections on these minutes? If not, I'll, ex I'll wait a motion. Accept as corrected. Motion. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Any further discussion? No, sorry. I'm ready to go. <laughs> all right. All in favor? He wants to go to the butterball tomorrow. Any opposed? Okay, that's a five that I think vote. Uh, next is the Wednesday, uh, May 13th meeting of the select board. We have those minutes in front of us. May 13th. I had um, one or two uh, changes here, and that was on uh, page five. <clears throat> Again, I believe uh, uh, about a third of the way down, it says, um, Deborah, some of those items have been hanging around for a long time. And actually, I think what I said was some of those, uh, uh, it should also include some of those items that have been hanging around for a long time. Hanging is such an articulate term, of course. But um, in other words, this was the transition report, and Jeff was suggesting uh, what needed to be in there, and I had said for the new town manager, and I said also some of those issues, matters that had been hanging around for some time, so he was aware of those. So the implication is that it's in addition to what was mentioned yeah, earlier. Yeah, right. So really, just if we just added the words, it should and also include some of those items that have been hanging around <laughs> for a long time. Any further um, issues with these minutes? Also, on, on page seven, and Linda, I think I sent you this, but maybe just didn't pick it up. I, yeah, no, that one was one of them, and this is another one. On page seven, again, uh, the third entry that says, Deborah, it says that we needed to rewrite the order <coughs> for the library building committee, but that's the charges, or charge. So I think that was in this quote. That's it. Page five of eight, middle of it, where I talk about roads and bond packages. Uh, <clears throat> the words, it will primarily be for roads. The statement that two-thirds of it will be for reconstruction is not quite accurate. I don't know that two-thirds of it will be for reconstruction. So just I would strike scratch, that. I would yeah. scratch the words, put a period at the end of roads and scratch the last part of that sentence. Okay. Anything else on these minutes? Uh, if not, then I'll accept the motion as corrected. I move to approve the May, uh, May 13th, 2019 meeting minutes of the select board as corrected. Second. Any further discussion? Not all in favor? Any opposed? Okay. Uh, next is the May 23rd. Um, that's an executive session. A motion there. 
I move to approve the May 23rd minutes uh, of the executive session of the select board. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Any opposed? Okay, it passes. And next is May 28th. I move to approve the May 28th executive session minutes of the select board. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Any opposed? Five to nothing vote. <clears throat> and we have yet another one. The uh, May 30th executive session. Move to accept the minutes uh, Rock, uh, Rockwood <coughs> Select Board executive session of May 30th. Second. Uh, moved and seconded. Any discussion? All in favor? Any opposed? Five to nothing. And finally, the June 3rd uh, executive session. Oh, what the heck? I move to <laughs> approve the um, June 3rd minutes of the executive session of the select board. I have a second. Second. A second from Jeff. Okay. Any discussion? All in favor? Any opposed? Okay. You know, are there any days in May we didn't have a meeting that we need to approve? <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, thank you. 27th, I don't think we had a meeting. Thank you to Linda for getting them all to us. Yes. It's, it's good you. to get those out of the way. Um, next select board meeting is the organizational meeting, which will take place uh, on Wednesday, June 12th, at the conclusion of the annual town meeting upstairs on the main stage. Um, and speaking of the annual town meeting, that will occur uh, tomorrow, uh, beginning at 8 o'clock in the morning. That's voting at the town office. Uh, which will then adjourn at 8 p.m. in the evening. The town meeting then resumes on Wednesday at 7 p.m. in the Rockport Opera House upstairs uh, for the main auditorium for the open portion of the meeting to act on all remaining articles. So we urge folks to uh, attend the town meeting. It's the way you can participate in your town government. Of course, I say that knowing that because of work commitments, I will not be there, but uh, everybody else should go. <laughs> uh, do we have any agenda changes this evening? Okay. Uh, public comment. Public comment should be directed at issues not under discussion on this evening's agenda. Comment from the public will be welcomed prior to each agenda item. Further comment will be granted only by permission of the board. All <coughs> public comment should be brief and to the point. Anybody wish to make public comment this evening? I have a comment. Okay. And even though I'm on the select board. Um, so, Ken, this is your um, last... Uh, uh, meeting with us um, on the select board, and we know that you did not want anything done for you. That's right. <laughs> so sit down. <laughs> we don't listen too bad. We don't listen we too don't well. Listen we well. didn't give you that option. And so, anyway. Um, the load. So, yes. So we have. Legal meeting. It was four to one. So we have a couple of things here, and we would like to thank you for your seven years of um, dedication and service to Rockport on the select board over two years as vice chair, over two years as chair. Um, you were active on cemetery committee, legacy Rockport, ordinance review committee, zoning board of appeals, ambulance committee. Did we forget one? Library. Pathways for a library. Oh, pathways, okay. <laughs> He's All very right. active in the library planning. Oh, uh, absolutely, the library planning, which is what I'd like to um, lead into. And... This is a certificate from the town of one brick oh. in your name and Susan's name in honor of your dedicated <laughs> service. Just the I'm going to tell my wife, what they do? They gave me a brick. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's not I attached to your up, foot. <laughs> Placement's extra, by the way. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Reminds me of the Charlie Brown Halloween special when all the kids say, I got a candy bar, I got a thing. And Charlie Brown says, I got a rock. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it is a oh, don't be delicate. Yeah, yeah, it's a brick. It, it won't break. <laughs> well, well, thank you very much. Very nice. There's, let's see. Oh, very so nice. that's just kind of a. It'll you know, be inscribed, yeah. Like. Don't lose it. Ken, there's also we we also didn't listen very well. Um, <laughs> it's also a gift 
from the town as well. We um, may do something in the rest of this meeting that nobody likes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll let you know. <laughs> I have no doubt of that. <laughs> and I'd like to just say a couple of words, if I could, Ken. Um, you know, after working with you for, for the last six years, how much I appreciate your calm, at analytical uh, process, the way you approach problems. I think it's been very, very helpful over the years. I really appreciate that for you know the town and for me personally, just knowing, knowing going in how you're going to approach a problem is very, very helpful from a manager's perspective to understand where people's heads are going to be and how they're going to look at the problem. And you, you, you consistently, you know, you're a data guy, an analytical guy, and I can, you know, understand that. And it's been, it was been, it's been very, very helpful. And your calm uh, demeanor has been also very, very helpful in guiding the town. Thank you very much, Ken. Yeah. <laughs> we don't listen, we don't listen well. In the budget. Eighteenth century, yeah. <laughs> that's what I didn't want. I didn't want the time to the money. Eighteenth Central, that's awfully nice. Thank you. And the, the book you don't have time to read a book now. Yeah, yeah. now you have time. Oh, you, you have a bag to put all your stuff in. Oh. Thank you. The bricks. Am I supposed to give the brick back or what? No, we no, want the bow no, back. You keep it. <laughs> <laughs> we say bows. Thank you. <laughs> Anybody else want to make public comment? <laughs> or something more appropriate? Tell them, tell them what a great guy he <laughs> <Yeah>, is. <laughs> okay, uh, moving on. Uh, town manager's update. Uh, this is not a regularly scheduled right. select board meeting, so just an update uh, from anything that's going on that we just need to know about. One thing, uh, several things. I've got seven, seven different <laughs> things here. When removing the tree stump today uh, that was out next to the uh, tree, uh, trailer we discovered an unknown drainage system that was basically under the tree that had to be a hundred years old um, and it actually had water running through it <laughs> so um, we're gonna have to do some investigating find out where the water is coming from where it's going is, um, is that part of our 18 million gallons yeah <laughs> We're, that's one thing we're yeah. going to check, yeah. uh, make sure it didn't inadvertently get connected into the system. It's a 12-inch line. Uh, we've got pictures. Uh, it, looks, it looks like a, just a drain line a, from houses up the hill. Um, didn't have any evidence of sewage running through it. Um, so but it had obviously been um, there for a, a long time. Bids have gone out for the sidewalk next to the in in front of the town office building or next to the town office building to get that raised up and um, corrected with drainage under that. Bids have also gone out to uh, uh, make the lot where the uh, West Rockport Fire Station is going to go to get that uh, uh, basically a pad site. Those those bids will those bids are due back here. I can't remember. Do you know, remember the date? Maybe. Yeah, so the bids are due back here by the end of the month, um, so we can start hauling material in there and get that up to, up to the uh, pad site ready. Um, I'm working on the transition document. Uh, will be available at the next meeting of the select board. The board may want to consider in the future at, a, at the next meeting or the meeting after uh, waiving the pesticides, pesticide ordinance or doing a, something with the pesticide ordinance. Uh, we're having a lot of problem with uh, brown tail moths on some of our properties, and uh, we the board is that would like that would be best handled by a board decision um, to waive that. Um, could you, the conservation commission provide input on that? Yeah, we could. That, I sure. think that'd be helpful for the board to have their. I actually because they, they can uh, they can look at the pesticide issue, but also the brown tail moth. I yeah. think we're meeting on Wednesday. Yeah, I think so we've got a nine thirty Wednesday. Okay, if Wednesday you could bring morning. that up with them, yep. that would be great. And, and I think that you didn't mean to say ordinance, it's a policy. Uh, the right? policy, it's yes, yeah, you're right, exactly, <laughs> you, you're right. Um, all boats are supposed to be out of the, st will be out of the storage area down behind here by the end of the week this week. Um, and the sewer inspections are going very well. Uh, we've hired a part-time employee to help. Uh, I'm thinking we're at about 25% complete now, Megan? Probably yeah, probably close. We haven't found any major issues yet, um, but 
it's unlikely that the people that may have a major issue will be calling us and saying, <laughs> scheduling the appointments right up front. Uh, so um, uh, we have we found a couple of minor ones, uh, a couple of minor ones. And one issue we found, uh, unrelated to the inspections, had to do with a, a problem on Route 1 that a lot of water was getting in through uh, one of the sewer, or one of the manhole covers. Um, and a significant amount of water was going in there. So that's my update. Have we found any more uh, that we didn't know was connected that is connected? Wasn't there, wasn't there 20 oh, or so? Oh, yeah. There's, we've, we, we've discovered a lot that we didn't realize were connected or they, that we weren't connect, collecting the, um, uh, the maintenance fee or the, uh, the debt service fee. We found several. Uh, the last count, I think it was in the 20s or 30s. Yeah. Good, yeah. thank you. Um, I yeah. have a couple of issues I wonder if we could put on for the next manager's report. You'll still be My here? Last, yeah, I'll still be here. Okay. One uh, more. You get me one more time. Okay. <laughs> could we get an update on the West Rockport Fire Station? Yep. So what, you know, long-term plans and all of that. Yep. <clears throat> and also at the request of um, the Rockport Beautification Committee and the Rockport Garden Club, can we get an understanding of um, what say the uh, select board has in the signs that get placed right there at Route 90 and Route 1. Yep. Um, uh, for people at home, uh, there's talk about landscaping that area. Uh, Public Works is going to bring in a little soil and the garden club and beautification people are going to put in plants and whatnot. Um, and there was just some concern among those groups that because that is the gateway to our community, it frequently gets a lot of signs put up there that uh, a lot of people don't feel are very attractive, although I understand uh, why people would want their signs there. And I'm thinking maybe there could be kind of an exchange and the town could put up a um, sort of a, a bolster for uh, people to put signs on, but not right there at the intersection. If I'm not mistaken, most of the signs, if all the signs that are there, if, unless things have changed, are supposed to be permitted yeah, they are. by the town. They are. Um, yeah. They're in the DOT right away, but the DOT has ceded the permitting <coughs> process to uh, the town. And again, like all of these things, it's complicated. We met with the DOT last week, two weeks ago, um, to talk about the plantings and uh, the guy in the DOT seemed to think that simply by fiat, the, the select board could say uh, that's an area that's going to be sign free, that corner. Uh, but I think we need to get a, a you know, real clarification on it before we get too far down that road. I suspect that you can't for political signs. I think that that right is ensconced in town right. state law yeah. on the political signs. Yes. Um, but uh, I know that. Uh, you know, I have talked to some folks who are concerned that uh, that isn't, they f feel that's an asset for the town for people to get to know what's going on in certain things. So sure. might want to be, uh, you know, and I use the example of the, the sign that's sort of across from the Hannaford where there's a frame there. Right, remember? there was, so, there yeah. was, there was some conversation there where about you could, you know, you could yeah. have something and, and then folks could say, I'd like to have my sign for my event because a lot of it is like five town football. Sure. Or, things like that, if you had something that was somewhat more yeah. standard, that'd make it easier for the folks too. They could know what size the sign had to be and it would look nicer. Right, um, and you could probably charge a little money for right. it. <laughs> speaking, but, yeah. speaking of 90 and one, and yeah. um, the crosswalk that we talked about last year that didn't get painted. On 90 and one? Yeah, 90 and one where the new traffic signal is that oh. allows for crossing. We yeah. talked about it last year and I just want to ensure that it gets painted this year if we can if Doug or somebody's talking to yep. DOT, um, and the other one is um, the crosswalks around town, is there an idea of when they'll be done? I don't have on the top of my head. No, I don't have an idea when they'll. I know it's on his list of things to get done. I just, I was funny. I took a ride to Bangor today, and every little town between here and there has theirs done. Right. So it would be nice. Thank you. Right. Uh, one more, Ken. The. Uh, We've got a heavy visitor load to the town office, the fire station, police station area tomorrow and Wednesday. It, I rode by tonight and the lawn is in need of mowing badly. Yeah. Can that get done in the morning? We can try. You know, yeah. I'll have my 
give it a shot. Uh, I, I wrote down, I've been writing down on the calendar, they're supposed to mow every week, once a week, and I can't remember the day they mowed last week, Monday. but, oh, they did mow on Monday? So they, so should, they, have should, they should have been there today. But the dandelions are yep. a foot tall. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah, I was just there. It, it does look. At the, at the last meeting, I asked that we get some kind of number on what it would cost to, should, should the board decide down the road to, uh, when we're doing a lot of the public works projects, to lay fiber uh -huh. when the ground is open? Did you get that number yet? No, no. Nope. Please put that on your list. Any other questions for the manager? Okay, uh, we don't have any consent agenda this evening under unfinished business. The first item is to uh, vote to approve the charge of the Rockport Library Building Committee, which uh, Deborah emailed to us on June 3rd, and it pretty much reflects what we had discussed uh, in the last meeting when we went through this. Do you guys have that? I, you in, do? On my email, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I just wanted to make sure that, okay. Um, so, why is this is so loud? <coughs> Um, I have to make sure the big crowd can hear it. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> did you want me to just give you a quick overview, or is everybody ready to? I mean, do I'm something? okay. I think it's, it pretty much reflects what what we had discussed. I yeah, don't that's think what I tried. Ready, ready <laughs> to the, make a motion. Okay. Maybe the three bullets for the rest of. For our Okay, okay, just, uh, yeah, um, as we talked about at the last uh, meeting, we have the guiding principles, we have the committee organization, all that is the same. On um, uh, the committee role, that was all pretty straightforward. Really, the question went to change orders at the last meeting. Mm -hmm. And so what I did was um, a section that talked about change orders generally, talking about how the FI contract you know, the, 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 the five requested um, change, change orders um, are covered under the contract, that the town owned ones are not, so we need to keep the town, the, I'm sorry, the owner requested change orders to a minimum or avoid them. So I talked about that and, you know, kind of as a policy thing. And then I separated out under separate uh, headings, the contractor requested change orders and the owner requested change <coughs> orders separately. Bottom line is nothing that is going to increase the um, cost to the town, not decrease it, that's okay, um, increase the cost to the town can be proved unless it goes before the select board so that we can keep tight control over this budget. Yeah. And I would add too that it does have some wiggle room in there because as we go through this project, some things are going to cost a little more, some things are going to cost a little yes. less so that if there's something that comes in more that requires a change order, but yes. we know that something Thanks else came in a little less, that that's as long as it doesn't impact yeah. the overall budget. It's Thanks for pointing okay. that out. Yeah, the aggregate. That if, if they, if, yeah. if the building committee is, is, is uh, confident that the aggregate amount is not going to cost the town uh, any more than what was uh, in the budget, then, uh, then that can be approved. While we're having the discussion, I should note, I should, have, should have put it on the agenda, actually. We did have a resignation of Bill Chapman from the Library Building Committee, um, which is unfortunate because Bill uh, was a strong member of that committee. So uh, there is an opening on that committee, and, and I suppose we ought to vote to accept that with regret. Uh, I move that we accept Bill Chapman's uh, resignation from the Library Building Committee with regret. Second. Any further discussion on that motion? All in favor? Any opposed? Okay. And do we have a motion on the uh, charge? Uh, I move that we vote to approve the charge of the Rockport Library Building Committee as presented. Second. Second. Okay. Any further discussion? If not, all in favor? Any opposed? Okay quickest library vote we've ever had. <laughs> U.S. people in the audience. <laughs> oh, jinx. Okay. Um, the next item is to direct the, to vote to direct the town manager to sign a contract for the owner's representative for the Rockport Public Library project. And again, we received that contract by uh, email today. And Deborah, do you want to just give an overview of that one for us? So, um, as you know, we had taken the FI um, contract, and, uh, owner's representative contract, and we, um, we simplified it, and we sort of divided up the tasks between what the board um, believed was appropriate for Rick's 
library consulting contract and then for the owner's representative contract, the owner's representative having a much more scaled down role than what Phi would have had. Um, so uh, uh, we have all um, discussed this. Um, there were, we, we sent it out um, uh, pursuant to Ken's uh, suggestion. Um, the last meeting we sent that to the outside council to review. Um, the outside council gave us input and Denise and I reviewed the outside council's responses. And in some cases, I have to say that um, there were, and, and Rick's been copied and is aware of this every step of the way um, and been participating. Um, there were a couple of instances where um, we frankly didn't agree with the outside council. For example, they wanted to put in, um, I think Rick and Steve and Jeff had struck some language, suggested striking some language that that um, uh, that referred to the owners, reps, employees, and subcontractors. Well, under this scenario, you know, she's a sole proprietor, and there are no owners, reps. I mean, there are no uh, subcontractors and employees. And so, the outside council said, "Well, what's the harm of including the provisions?" And Denise and I kind of look at each other and go, oh, "Why would we include them?" So, you know, there were some things like that that I have to say that Denise and uh, uh, Denise and I kind of felt were not appropriate, but they are in no way things that um, would, would not protect the town. Asha made it clear in her note to us that, you know, she was just pointing things out and ultimately what we did with it, you know, she was good with. So that's what you have before you. And I think Rick um, in his comments along the way felt that we had um, made good decisions and adequately protected the town. I don't want to put words in your mouth. Yeah, no, but that's, that's, that's very accurate. I think, you know, I think we have a good, it's a good agreement now that um, it's very workable. Um, Mary Beth is a um, very accommodating uh, person. I think she'll do a great job for us. Okay. Rick asked me to go back and forth, I'm sorry, with Mary Beth directly, and so right. he did that. And, and so Mary Beth is okay. Mary Beth yeah, is okay. absolutely fine so with We should state, again, for our West Coast audience. Owner's uh, representative we'll, yes. is Mary Beth Van Curen, who we um, approved. At the, we approved her at yes, the last meeting, okay. subject to negotiating um, a mutually acceptable agreement, which is what this one is all about. Okay. So I will await a motion on this. I move that the select board vote to direct the town manager to sign a contract for the owner's representative uh, with uh, Mary Beth Van Curen. Uh, for the Rockport Public Library project as presented. Second. Okay, moved and seconded. Any further discussion on this motion? If not, all in favor? <laughs> Any opposed? Okay, <coughs> take care of that. Uh, the next item on the agenda. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Could you, um, uh, y you could go ahead and sign that then, Rick, because yeah. it is actually dated today. Oh, okay. Do so, you have a copy for yeah, me to sign? Yes, here's a copy. You can have that. Great. <coughs> Um, the next item is actually to, to sign a contract with Rick to act in a consulting role, and we just got that contract less than an hour or two ago, I believe. Um, and so I, I think we're probably going to put that off uh, Table it to the until, the, until the next select board meeting. We have an agreement, and I think yeah. we have an agreement in principle, right. and, and it's just a matter of dotting I's and crossing T's right now. Rick is going to be our library consultant. We know that, and, and we know what the ter major terms are. It's just a matter of getting the lawyers all on the same page, sorry. <laughs> um. It's the outside lawyers. I, I, I'm, I'm, you know, a, I'm a quick, there. A quick read, I didn't see anything that jumped yeah. out. And Rick will have to have his counsel look it over also, I'm sure. So, right, to lose uh, table so we'll just, uh, we won't act on that this evening. But but let f folks should understand that it's it's essentially a done deal at this point. It's just a matter of, of getting the signatures, and that'll be up at the next board. this time for that. And now... The elephant in the room, the update on the contract renewal for EMS services from Northeast Mobile Health. There have been a lot of emails flying yeah. around today, and I don't think right. I'm going to try to summarize them. I'm going to ask Rick to, to but, say where we are at yeah. this point with this. Bottom line is I've spent the better part of the last week uh, since the, the last meeting working with Butch and the other members, the other three members of the, uh, uh, the other three managers to try and get, a, get us to an agreement. Um, Butch, as you, you can see from his latest email, 
he was not willing to just sign the extension, wanted more language in the contract, uh, he wanted to go back to the contract. Um, today we were able to, I, I believe, negotiate some areas that I think, you know, we can get a contract back to you for the tw 20, is it a 28th meeting? I think it's the 24th. 24th, I think. Okay, for the 24th meeting. Um, that I think will will work. Some areas of uh, concern that that I that I had was it, on page four. Uh, there were the two sections there: the joint select board meeting uh, with Northeast Mobile Health Health Services, the ballot question referendum. That I had I've said over and over again that even if we wanted to do those two things, those are not in the best interest of the town. Uh, there was another area that. Uh, uh, that had to do with liquidated damages that uh, Audra was able to, to talk to him today and one of the areas was uh, he wanted to have a provision in the in the contract which uh, required all the four towns to be bound together um, and we can't we he does not understand we can't do that without going to town meeting but Audra felt that that you know the only town that's a that has really has any potential of considering leaving it in the middle of a contract would be Camden. He's most worried about Camden and that the liquidated damages for the next year, if somebody leaves unexpectedly, um, that Camden would be willing to, to agree to that. It would be, we would have to agree to it also. All four towns will be agreeing to that. But it's, I don't I don't see us being ready to make that kind of a move uh, that quickly. Um, He's talking about, in other words, abandoning the contract in the middle of, of whatever the contract period is. Right. Yeah. For, yeah I mean, for, it's just not going to happen. Yeah. You, you mean not for cause? You mean for without cause? Right. Yeah, right. without cause, just because we want to go with a different direction. His his fear is he, the fear is is that if Camden pulled out and decided to go with an with an alternative that they'd still be obligated by contract to serve the other three towns. And there may not be enough financial, to make it financially work with the contract the way it's worded, he would be in a tough, a tough spot. Audra seemed to think that potentially Camden would be okay with that language in there and we could get the contract signed that way. And then the we pulled out the language which we've, we talked about was pulled out the language and just said so that there wouldn't be language in the contract that requires that meeting. It would be a separate letter from each of the four towns saying we agree to hold a meeting. And, um, it, you know, the four towns would then be signing off saying we agree that the four towns are going to meet because we'd have to meet in order to meet that January 15th deadline, which is still in here. Um, so uh, if we can get to that point, I think we can, uh, we'll have a contract we can sign. But there's language in there that, um, as I understand it, that the, well, the Camden, uh, Camden Southside Council, uh, their uh, Camden shared that with us, yeah, as right. you know, at the last meeting. And um, so what you have given us just this afternoon does not does not include that right yeah so so um so because those things that the camden council was concerned about are still in here yeah, they still are that, yes right but we expect them to be come out okay so back up to the hundred thousand foot level our current contract runs out june 30 june 30th yes then what then we're kind of floating around with no contract well, I think by they, law, they, 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 they have to serve us for 30 days. They can't walk, walk okay. away and providing a service. I, th I think yeah, by the law may say something days. like that. It'll have to continue at the days. previous so rate or something like that. What's the path forward to resolution? But is it for 30 days? <clears throat> yes. I, it is 30 yeah. days? Yeah. All right. So what's the path forward to re resolution here to get the contract renewed between now and the end of July? The, uh, I, I, let me just check and see if I, I sent an email at like 4.30 today to the four managers, I don't have anything yet, to saying the four managers and Butch need to sit down in a room and say, okay, hammer out those, those last details so that we can bring it back to the board, to our various boards, 
on the 24th. Which is the CEO of Northeast Mobile Health right, Services. Exactly. I think we're, I, 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 this, the sticking point I think would, was uh, getting the four towns and you know, two, two of the towns are ready to sign today. I think I, we're kind of... Well, wait a minute, ready to sign what, a one-year extension? Yeah. Right, that's what yeah. we motioned well, last we time. Well, we motioned right. last time well, they're, that they're, we're ready to sign a one-year yeah, motion. And I, sub yeah. I gave that to him. Yeah. I signed it, gave it to him, and said we would be willing to also send a letter saying that we agree to meet. You know, that we agree to... to, to uh, Who's we? The, the Rockport. That's right. what you right. gave right. me in that... The whole town? But, but let's be precise no, here. The, the, yeah. the board. Yeah, but but let's be precise here, though. When we say a one-year extension, we meant of the of the current contract terms. Yes, exactly. Not this that's uh, right. He shared with. Yeah, us. he's right. he, he's added some things in here, which uh, from right from the beginning, I pointed out to him that we can't. Those pieces about having a meeting and binding yeah. us by contract just aren't going to work. And Camden's council said the same thing. Right. And he's just not seeing that. Mm -hmm. um, by all accounts, they've met all of their standards that they have in the current contract, and it's just a shame that we're here at the last minute trying to iron out something. So, yeah. Um, well, we, we had the letter from Hope, which I circulated. Yeah, on yeah. The board, no, uh, that there, there's a little bit of angst among the smaller towns, especially yeah. because they have oh, a lot very, more to lose. Yeah. Than, Understandable, than and it. Do because, and uh, so I'm, I'm still not clear as. How do we get from where we are today to where do we need to be? The four managers and uh, Butch will meet sometime in the next week or two week to two weeks. It's it's uh, before the meeting on the twenty. We have a meeting on the twenty fourth, and before the other towns meet need to meet. The goal is to have it to the, all four towns so that we can all sign off on it and agree to the contract before the end of the deadline. I think we're there. So my understanding has always been that it, that, that, that Camden was willing, and I, I might be wrong, yep. but uh, the Camden was willing to sign a one-year extension yep. to the based on the current terms. And we were too. We, we yeah, yeah. That's what our it, but it's was. these right. But it's these. It's yeah. I know we are. It's but the, I mean, all I thought the add Camden that too. Butch is right. Doing. But it, right, it's all the add-ons that Butch <coughs> is doing that's making it um, right. unacceptable to us. Right. But I, I sent Butch. Uh, I signed the agreement. Sent it to Butch said we would send him a letter, you know, one of the plans was that today's, tonight's meeting was to have you approve a draft of a letter that we would send agreeing that we would meet during the month of July to, to do everything we can to get the four towns to meet during the month of July. And uh, thinking that maybe that would be enough to get him uh, to, to agree to the contract, he sent back, this is what I got back today, um, yeah, I got this back this morning. I sent him back an email saying that those some of those provisions aren't going to work, and I would ask the other managers to weigh in, and uh, Audra did, and uh, she uh, she has actually called him this afternoon, and I think they hammered out a lot of the details here. So I think. I so think the the think expectation there. is that there will be an agreement for the board to act on at on the that. meeting on the twenty fourth. Okay. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah. And there is no June 17th meeting, right, Rick? We were talking about a June 17th meeting of a couple of representatives of each Oh, yeah. The, no, there's no. not. No. Would, would it be too much to ask at that meeting if, if one or two more dates in the next year or at least one between now and January could be put together for the managers? Oh, it, I That's, believe it's going to be the four towns are going to have to meet more than once. Yeah. Oh, I know, but I'm just. Yeah, I, th I think this, one of the things that's going to have to happen in a fairly short order is you're going to have to have a robust meeting schedule set up yeah. <clears throat> to lay out a roadmap of how this decision is going to be made. If if, if uh, Camden and Rockman want to pursue this other option, that that has to be fleshed out. And that was one of the reasons that I suggested putting this January 15th date in the contract, saying we will say by January 15th whether we renew or not, because. You know all these other ideas that are being thrown around. I mean, they, there there are no details with them. We don't know what that's going to add up to at this point. Right. Um, so, yeah, like I say, I think I mean, yeah, it's going to be more than just the quarterly ambulance no, no, review no. meetings I that have to happen. But oh, I think yeah. you know, fairly in fairly short order, that that meeting schedule has to be set up, and it'll have to include, I think, at some point, the the 20 members of the four select boards getting together in the same room because it is difficult 
to go to a meeting as Mark and I have and then come back and report back to the board and, and we may lose something in the translation, something may different may get reported to the Hope Board or, or the uh, Lincolnville Board. And So to have them all in the same room I think makes some sense. Does it have to be the first meeting? No, you could have a meeting that, that sets a roadmap for how to go forward, which is, which is what I had suggested. But at some point, the four boards have to meet um, and look at the options and make some decisions. My parting shot. <laughs> I mean, every time we've we've run into a difficult situation with this, you know, we we've had a couple of couple other places where we we had to make some changes, and it's been when all four towns have been able to meet. Yeah. You know, we've had to do that, and it it comes up, and um, you know, there there could be in the, in a new contract, uh, you know, when we do a if we do a longer term contract. The, uh, the method that we're using may need some more tweaking in order to make sure that we're getting the level of service that we, that we want and expect. They, as Mark said, they are meeting the conditions of the contract the way it is. And I, if yeah. we wanted to say, you know, put a condition in there that they have to meet it and not use uh, mutual aid, only, you know, limit <laughs> to a certain percentage of time, we can put that in the contract, and that will come with a cost. And, and, I, and I was a little disappointed. I mean, Butch's reaction was to things that he read, uh, which got things started. And we all just need to step back a little bit and get this contract done so yep. that we can take care of the people around our communities and then figure out where to go from there. But let's just step back a minute. And I would just like to say one thing. Um, Given all of the changes that are occurring, Rick leaving, Ken leaving, Ken's been very involved in this contract. Obviously, Rick's been involved in it. Jeff and I, having been elected last June, have had no involvement in it until just these last little sputterings in the last few weeks. And um, whoever is elected tomorrow will have had no, um, no, no exposure to it either. So. This is something, Rick, that you need to really make sure that everybody gets up to speed on in your transition document or have a good file. Make sure that, I mean, somehow the rest of us have, to, which is actually the majority of the board <laughs> right. as of tomorrow, will have to really um, be educated on right. along with the new town manager. Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. Okay. So did this make up for the short library conversation? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Any further comments on EMS? Okay. On to new business. Uh, two items under new business. We have to vote to select <coughs> Rockport's next town manager, and then we have to vote to approve a contract with the new town manager. I Mr. move Chairman. to appoint William S. Post as the next town manager, Rockport, Maine. Second. Motion and a second, okay. Any, any discussion on the motion? Okay, I will note that by charter, this motion has to pass by a, at least a four to one vote. Super majority. So, all in favor? <laughs> <laughs> any opposed? Just add drama. Let the record say that's a five to nothing vote. And Mr. Post is here with us this evening. Welcome to Rockport. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And I, I would like to make a couple of comments about the uh, uh, process we've gone through. Uh, it's the second one I've gone through, and, and in reading the papers about what's going on in some of our surrounding towns, we are very lucky here in Rockport that we have a, uh, a charter that details how this process works. Um, and it worked very well, from my opinion, for the second time uh, with our search committee doing an excellent job and providing us with uh, a couple of great finalists. Uh, the select board's role worked very well also. Um, and we attracted a, a pool of very qualified applicants, and uh, we have Mr. Post here this evening, so that's terrific. And uh, I want to thank the board for this is a this is a labor-intensive work when we have this happen, and I want to thank everybody on the board for their role in that, and also the folks on the search committee who put in a lot of hours. Uh, none of them are here this evening, I don't believe. Oh, Jeff good. was the liaison yeah. there. So, Mr. Chairman, if I could, I'd like to also uh, express my thanks to the search committee. They did a uh, fantastic job at. You know, a committee that size and every person on there was very dedicated and very engaged in the activity. Uh, it was just one of the best committees I've ever worked on. It really was. That was uh, 
it's testament to the fact that the charter tells us we have to have a seven-member committee, and I believe we had 25 applicants who wanted to serve on that committee or something like that, and so we had to choose among those who wanted to serve, and uh, that was a hard decision too, so it's great that the town is engaged. And the other thing I want to say about this situation, which is different than the last time, is that I'm really, really happy that we are moving toward a smooth transition between managers this time. That was not the case the last time. Uh, Rick is here and, and is going to be hanging around for another year doing some library work, but also available to Bill as, as a resource. And uh, there'll be some overlap between the two of them, and, uh, and that uh, that's, can only be good for the town. So I'm very pleased about that. And I just want to add my uh, two cents to thank Ken on behalf of the select board for his leadership during this process. Um, your wisdom and steady hand on the tiller uh, mm -hmm. really made this move move smoothly and um, like I say it was just wonderful leadership on your part yeah I would echo and support Doug's comments yep. in that regard and let's just not do it for several <laughs> several more years there we go yes. that's the idea yeah okay uh, the next item we have to do is actually to approve a contract with the new town manager or employment agreement. I'm going to get this one before Doug does. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Chairman, I move to enter into an employment agreement with Mr. Post to serve as town manager of Rockport for a period of two years and 11 months starting on August 1st, 2019 and continuing through June 30th, 2022 with a starting annual salary of $94,000. Second. A motion and a second there. Any discussion on this? We have the agreement here. Uh, Bill and I have been working on it over the past several days. Um, and there is a stipend that goes uh, uh, along with that. Um, yeah, there's a cell phone stipend, an automobile stipend. It's all yeah, it's so all in the agreement. Which right. once we sign that agreement, it becomes public. So anybody who wants to see it can. Although I might, uh, for the members of the press that are here, it's it's in a few pieces. We can get you an electronic copy tomorrow. So if you can. Hold out till then. That would be great. You got the you got the number that Get you the want. Annual so. starting salary. There's yeah. um, there's one thing that I would like to um, say that uh, there is a provision in the agreement and um, in which it um, talks about uh, for travel to some of the conferences that. Uh, the bill would have to get approval of the transportation arrangements and all that stuff from the select board. I mean, he, he's a professional, and he should be treated like a professional, and I think that we should um, delete that provision, and I know you have two different versions, yes, one with it deleted, and I would like to suggest that we sign the, the one that has that stipulation deleted. Okay. Um, do you want to make that a motion? Or? Yes, we do. Uh, so, do you want to amend your motion? No, nope, uh, want... I don't think I need to. Okay, so I would, you... mo I, I would move that the agreement that we approve. Actually, you'll have to make an amendment to his motion. So I would like to amend, on... his, amend Jeff's motion to say that the agreement that we approve for Mr. Post is the one that does not require prior approval by the select board of transportation arrangements. Two. Two conferences, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, is there a second to the amendment? Second. Okay. Any further discussion? Okay, we'll vote first on the amendment. All in favor of the amendment? Any opposed? Okay, and then now on the underlying motion as amended uh, to approve the employment agreement. All in favor? I'm gonna pull a dart. Huh? <laughs> Can I hold my hand up? I'm gonna pull a dart. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. And uh, Bill, we'll, we have one more item on the, on the agenda, Bill, and then we'll, we'll do the signing of that uh, after the fact here. I, I would just like to say that um, I had the pleasure of talking to two individuals who um, Bill had provided as um, two of his references, and they were glowing references. And as one individual said, you could never hope for a town manager who would be more dedicated and loyal to the citizens of Rockport. So uh, I look forward to working with you. <laughs> so are we. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Not, we'll we'll do a little far. signing thing after that. We can. You guys can get some pictures and things like that if you like. Uh, the final item. Well, the next item on the agenda is to go in as wastewater commissioners. We have the wastewater budget before us. So I need a motion to go in as wastewater commissioners. So moved. Oh, you get, did you do that? Okay. Second. 
Okay, so we moved and seconded to enter as wastewater commissioners. All in favor? Any opposed? Okay, we have before us the wastewater budget, which was provided to us at our last meeting uh, in revised form. Um, and uh, I asked the board if they had any questions to talk to Megan about it. Megan gave us the uh, presentation <coughs> on it the last time. Uh, so if there are any questions or issues, now is the time to bring them up. If there are none, then I would accept the motion to approve the budget. I make a motion to approve the Rockport Wastewater Budget for fiscal year 2019-2020 as presented. Second. So moved and seconded to approve the wastewater budget. Any discussion? I'd just like to say thanks to Megan for her usual great job on, yeah. on the budget. Uh, a lot of these decisions were made when we did the municipal budget, when we rearranged a few things here and there and, and payments and things like that. And, and a lot of this, too, is, uh, as Rick talked about earlier, the sewer investigation that we're doing, a lot of that is, is put in here. Uh, we're expanding the sewer system, which is a good thing. Um, and so, uh, again, thanks to Megan. If there's no further discussion, all in favor of the motion to approve the budget? Any opposed? Okay, that's a five to nothing vote. Okay, we need a motion to exit as wastewater commissioners. Mr. So Chairman, I motion we exit as wastewater commissioners and return to select board. Second. Uh, all in favor? Any opposed? Okay, five to nothing. Does anybody have any liaison reports this evening? I, know that anybody's I would just like to quickly say that for Midco Solid Waste that we had we're down to two candidates for the new facility manager. The one candidate came in um, from out of state, and we spent quite a bit of time with him um, uh, toward the end of last week. And um, very impressive individual. And um, we look forward to spending some time with um, the other candidate who is um, from Maine uh, at the, um, the end of this week. And then I hope that the board will be in a position to make a decision shortly after that for a new facility manager because we haven't had one since uh, <laughs> before Christmas. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Uh, we look forward to Well, that. that'll be good to get that, you know, that uh, organization back on an even keel again. Absolutely. Any other uh, liaison reports this evening? I have none myself. I have none. No. Uh, we did have the uh, library groundbreaking last Friday. I guess I'll mention that, which was a very nice event. Um, and the, the model of the library was impressive, the, the yeah. handmade model. That was, yeah. And that also was the great. video showing the virtual mm -hmm. virtual drone flying around the library yeah. from all angles and seeing how it's going to look in the community was yes. uh, was really quite a nice event. Cookies were good, too. <laughs> <laughs> Cookies were good. And I, I would add, too, that the uh, Bill Leone and Joan Welsh spoke on behalf of the, uh, the Capital Campaign and the Foundation. They mentioned some events coming up, and I don't know what the dates of those are, but I would just tell folks, Keep your eyes open for that. There was going to be, I think, a business reception at Rare Wine yep. coming up sometime soon. There was going to be a walk slash run. So there's a lot of exciting events going on. It's a great way to help uh, raise the private money for the library and have a good time as well. Okay. And your brick contributed to it. Too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess we're all through. Um, and we'll, we can adjourn the meeting, and then we'll take care of signing the documents with Bill. Um, and we'll be all set, unless there's any further business to come before us. Wow. Enjoy your retirement. <laughs> well, we're not adjourned yet. Are we? <laughs> yeah. Somebody going to make we're, a motion? We're just letting you take hang in here. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's called <laughs> twisting <laughs> of the wind. Even though he's not here, he's <laughs> yeah, still yeah. on the board he until he Wednesday. Retired, however, would, that would you like to make the last motion, Ken? Yeah, yeah. No, that's quite all right. Okay. He's still uh, on the board till next week. Let's just sit here then. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I move we adjourn. Second. Moved and seconded to adjourn. All in favor? Filibuster. All in favor. Any opposed? <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>